I'm an evolutionary biologist who came to this late um, trying to teach evolutionary biology. And I suspect, like Richard, um, my becoming an atheist and a naturalist was a reaction to the fact that the opposition to what I was trying to teach, which was obdurate, was based on religious faith that you could not dispel by teaching people the facts about evolution. Um, um, from that, it became transformed to theology. I mean, I realized the way to, get, to teach evolution was to give it a religion. And then how do you do that? Well, um, you can reform society, but you can also argue against religion. The new atheists have done that very well. I'm writing a book now, and that's one reason I'm interested in this conference, about the incompatibility between science and religion. So there's a lot of areas in there that I want to get people's takes on um, at this meeting. Um, that involves questions of free will, questions of mathematics, questions about how we know things. Are there other ways of knowing things besides science? I'm here, I guess, specifically to address the question of free will. I guess I'm one of the few incompatibilists in this group. I guess Alex is another one. Um, to me, the question seems largely semantic. And since Sean brought this up in his introduction, I'll just respond to that. Um, he had a theory that, you know, that free will is compatible with determinism because humans behave rationally. My alternative theory is that we're collations of molecules that obey the laws of physics. And sometimes it appears that we do that rationally, but a lot of times we don't. And my, my replacement for free will would be the statement, our decisions are made by internal forces that we don't understand and that we should deep six the idea of free will in terms of this statement. Um, in terms of what I've been willing to change my mind about, um, this is a question I've been wrestling with for my book, and it's a, it's a powerful weapon in the armamentarium of theologians. Um, there are other ways of knowing besides science. In other words, art, literature, Music are ways of knowing. Um, I'm, I'm interested in exploring that question. Of course, that's all used to justify religious ways of knowing, but and I don't believe in that. I don't believe religion is a way of knowing, but I'm interested in understanding in knowing whether there are other ways of knowing besides science. Is a way science. of knowing a way of acquiring justified true beliefs? So about what? Is a way of knowing a way of acquiring justified true beliefs? Uh, that's one definition of it, or, you know, but in that sense you could make a case that there are ways of knowing beyond science, like when your kid tells you, I'm, I'm hungry, okay, that's a justified true belief, uh, but it's not attained through science. I mean, you can test it through science, but, you know, anyway, these are the kinds of questions. I'm completely open about this, I, I haven't decided. I, I would like to think that science answers all questions in that sense, I would be a scientist, or we call somebody who is an advocate of scientism. Um, none of that is to justify religion, but theologians use art, music, and literature as ways of knowing, and from that, then Jesus and Revelation is a way of knowing, too. So I'd like to be able to discuss that question. Um, I'm honored to be in this group, <laughs> which is a massive collation of impressive neurons. Um, I'd like to ask, both for the benefit of myself and for the people who are going to be watching this YouTube video, as we try to stay away from specific jargon that's particular to our fields, because a lot of stuff that's going around, I don't understand very well. Question, uh, terms like homuncular functionalist, uh, <laughs> probably on my mind, so I might interrupt people and ask them to explain. Um, Actually, let me just uh, emphasize that I very much agree with that. In fact, I, yeah. was, I forgot to say the very intro uh, to at least bring up an idea that Dan had that uh, I didn't think would quite work out, but it's a brilliant idea, which is that what we should have done is import four undergraduates to sit in the room and then demand that everyone talking talk as if they're talking to the undergraduates. I can do that. I'll vote for that. There's still a community college around the corner. I, <laughs> <laughs> but, that means, but that means that, that you have to be proactive in yes. raising your yeah. hand yeah. and saying, what That's does right. that mean? I, I, yeah. I will. I actually think I understand the homunculus function. I actually That's do. Right. I, um, yes. So, but yes, yes. I'll, 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 I'll have my, my, my ignorance anymore. Yeah, well, I'll be asking questions too at the risk of looking at everyone stupid. I'd rather learn than remain in the dark. Um, the last thing I want to say, which is related to what Massimo says, I have a copy of my popular book that I'd like to pass around during the meetings for you to autograph. That's not for my benefit. I'd like to sell it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that didn't come out right. <laughs> I want to auction it off to the readers of my website for, and donate the proceeds to Doctors Without Borders. I think we, I could get at least $1,000 for it. So if you would be so kind as to just write your name and maybe a statement about naturalism or something in the book during this week, um, uh, I would be much gratified. So.